Um, I jumped in on this one to take one for you because <laughs> if you watch the show at all, you know Andy's not a huge fan of fish. And so Chef Christopher Gross of Christopher's and Crush Lounge is making a delicious fish soup. And we didn't really want her to, you know. I thought this was her favorite. Oh, it's never. Well, it's my, it's my favorite. Oh, I love that, that's, fish. That's, that's most important. <laughs> so. All right. So it's a light fare soup. Um, it's something, in fact, that you're going to be making at Christopher's on Sunday, right? Yeah, we do this every Sunday. Every day we have something different uh, as a special. And this is our Sunday feature. Uh, fish soup. Uh, you could call it like bouillabaisse, okay. but we don't because everyone has sort of a benchmark what that is. If you've been to the south of France, that's a typical dish. Oh, okay. okay. So, and we don't have all the fish from there and stuff like this, so it's a variation of it. Tell me first, the primary flavors, once this is all put together, will be what? Uh, kind of tomato. Uh, we have fennel, fresh fennel, and uh, we have saffron. Saffron, okay. So, so let's start with the broth then, and um, or is, is that what you would call it, basically? Uh -huh. Okay. And it's it's very simple to make. We're just taking some olive oil, and then we let that get hot. And you can use any kind of uh, dish you want. I like to use a stainless steel or something like this. Okay. These these work really great. And then we add some fennel. Now, why do you ha why do you prefer those kind of? Just it's cuts. thick, carries heat. Okay. And uh, I kind of don't like to use a lot of aluminum because it uh, interacts with some sauces and oh, acids right. and stuff. And so we add onions. Now, the traditional way that this is made, you make the broth and everything, you throw all the fish in with bones and everything in it. And sometimes people don't like to work for their food and pull out all well, those bones yeah, no. and stuff. So we've made a, a version of it that. Uh, is without that. Okay. And this would also be just a great soup on its own, and there's no fish in it. So actually, she can taste the soup. Okay. We, we, and we're yeah. going to cook the fish in the soup afterwards. Oh, that'll be delicious because then the flavor of the soup and will go into the fish. Absolutely. Oh, I like it. So a little garlic, especially with the cuisine from the south of France, you want a lot of garlic as well. Love, garlic, love, use. love the fragrance of. Uh, and the aroma of garlic once it starts cooking. Mm -hmm. We have some thyme and bay leaf, and we're just going to saute that all up. And as that sautes, I have some chicken stock, and uh, I've diluted it with a little water. We don't want a strong flavor of chicken stock heating up over here that we're going to add to this. Huh, then, I'm kind of surprised by the chicken stock with a fish soup. Well, chicken stock for me has a great base flavor. Uh, for anything, if you, I don't like artificial beef stock. Okay. I mean, we make our veal stock and chicken stock and everything at the restaurant. But if I was cooking it at home, I would use chicken stock as sort of the, sort of a neutral stock. It gives a lot of body to things, and it actually adds and gives a little richness to the soup without adding a lot of butter and stuff like that okay. that you don't want. Do you prefer the low sodium, or does that affect the taste at all? Uh, low sodium is just fine because you can add all the salt you want salt to that. Okay. <laughs> so ultimately, it's going get, to get in there. So now we're adding all the chopped tomatoes in here. I love it when I see something that's seasonal because it, it's a big kind of cue for me that if you have a garden in the backyard, that this is you know a, a recipe to earmark because you mm -hmm. can go to your your garden and grab some of the you know some of the things that you've got that are yeah, fresh. You can get all of the stuff, and you know the the sauce that we're using that goes on these croutons over here is just roasted red bell peppers that we've pureed. Oh, okay. So that gives a really fresh summer flavor too. The bay leaf. I'm always so confused when it calls for a bay leaf leaf in a recipe because it, I don't know that I recognize the taste, and then you take it out anyway after it's allegedly done its well, job. I mean, if you if you here we get this smell way. it. If you if you just wad it up in your fingers and then kind of rub it in there, then you'll. You'll smell what that flavor is like. Okay. So it gives a nice earthy flavor yeah, yeah, yeah. to the soup. Well, now this one's going to be more difficult to fish out. Go ahead, but... go ahead. We're not eating this one. Okay. Because anyway. <laughs> this takes about 15 or so minutes for this to cook. It almost seems like you would need a handful of those to get, you know. Uh, then, then it'll get overpowering. You'll be surprised. Yeah, most once recipes it's... call for like two max. Yeah, you know? once it steeps in here. And then I, I got the stock. Of course, we'd let this saute a sure. little bit more, cook a little more. And then. Now, with our tomatoes, as we were letting them cook a little bit more, will we look? What would we? What would our visual cue be? That the well, it all melt down, and the onions would get soft, the fennel would get soft, and okay. everything. And then, so we just let this simmer for about 15, 20 minutes, and then after that, we'll put it into the blender and we'll puree it all and strain it. And that's kind of up to you whether you want to strain it or not. If you're not going to strain it after you puree it, then we want to take that thyme, bay leaf. And then tie it up with a little string, or put it in a little cheesecloth. At the onset of all this. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So, and oh, I forgot the saffron. There, that's and you just. Can need you buy a little. this anywhere? 
Um, a, a lot of gourmet shops, you can, you can find it. It's not that difficult thing to find. And you can also get the powdered form. It's not, uh, it's nice. Okay. But, isn't it pretty small? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I put, oh, shoot. Put it back in there. <laughs> Sorry. My hands were clean. Uh, now I, just, I have to throw it away. <laughs> you don't. My hands oh are done. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Is it an expensive <laughs> thing to buy one of these? Oh, it's about $1,000 Oh, or so. okay. <laughs> my, my boss, Paul, will write a check for you after the show. Well, All right. Uh, okay, okay. So here oh, we're just. Well. <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure I. Yeah, just okay. feel paper. No problem. <laughs> Stick around. We're going to move this recipe a little bit further here in about 20 minutes or so.